Hi there. One of the most important remeshing operation uh, is the decimation or simplification. So the reduction of the numbers of triangles of a model from a starting number to a target number. As usual, there are several different filters who, which make uh, simplification in MeshLab, but there is one of them which is uh, very easy to use and extremely robust. So if you don't have uh, any particular uh, target and you don't, you're not handling a particular triangular mesh, uh, it can be used uh, safely. And its name is the quadric edge collapse decimation. You see there are quite a lot of uh, uh, possible options, but essentially uh, if you are not uh, uh, handling a particular um, conditions, the most important parameter is just the first one where you define the target number of faces. Uh, by default is set as the one half of the original number of faces, but you can choose whichever final number you want. And in a, an, al an alternative you can also define the percentage reduction instead of the target, target number of faces. It works in the very same way. And so essentially mm, the default uh, uh, other options are the right one uh, and you just need to click apply. But if you are handling uh, particular cases you can uh, even try to have a look at them. So for example uh, the um, quality threshold is related to the quality of the uh, the shape of the final triangle so if you set it in zero uh, at zero uh, you will uh, you could have uh, bad quality bad shaped triangles and the first three are related to the preservation of uh, a particular characteristic of the mesh and you should take into account uh, take them into account uh, especially if you're making very very strong simplifications of the model so that the final model uh, will will uh, have uh, say less than 20% of the original triangles because in this case it could, po could be possible that there could be quite a lot of changes in the shape or even in the topology of the final mesh. Then the optimal position of, of uh, simplified vertices preserves again the, the, the quality of the triangulation and you can also uh, mm, try to drive the simplification by taking into account the, the planar parts or using the the quality of the of the vertices to choose the the part of the surface you want to s to simplify, and there is also this post simplification cleaning which is always very useful, and uh, this filter can be also applied only on a sub portion of faces. So if you want to simplify only a part of the of the mesh, you can select it and then make the simplification on the model like this. Okay, so once that you apply the the, the filter you get the simplification of the model. So if you start from a model like this one, we can see the initial, the initial triangulation which is quite dense. And when you apply the model, you get as a final result a model which has a number which is almost the, the, the number that you set as a number, target number of faces. So this is extremely useful and extremely easy to use So this is the final result of the simplification. You see that triangles are much bigger than the initial. But for example, if you have a look at the, at the initial three-dimensional model, and we we load again the initial one, we see that uh, there are really uh, small differences, even though we made uh, a simplification which was uh, of the more than 70%. So that's it for the simplification filter, quadric, quadric edge collapse decimation, very useful in most of the cases. Bye.